Hi, I'm Karen Walker, and welcome to my demonstration video on cherry blossoms. I wanted to show the materials that I ended up using. I work on U-Bowl paper, and I started with some masking. So we have the PBO drawing gum, and I used a small brush to apply it. I also, in the beginning, um, lightened the drawing with a cotton ball and some 91% alcohol. For the background inking, I used cloudy blue, pink sherbet, cool perry, and some alcohol that is in this fine line applicator. I also splattered some alcohol, which I had in the uh, lidded container, with this uh, one inch chip brush. After removing the masking fluid once it was dry, the steps I took were to uh, paint in the branches and then paint in the flowers. For the branches, I started with some espresso ink added in some current, and further into the process, a little bit of terracotta. For the flowers, I used the Cool Perry, the Pink Sherbet, and some brighter shades, the Amethyst and Flamingo. I also ended up using some markers, and we have a variety of some pinks. As far as pens go, I used the white pen and the sepia pen, and I did quite a bit of lifting with these little pointy swabs which I get at the drugstore. And I think the last thing I did was to splatter some wild plum ink. You can still see that on the toothbrush. So I think that is all the materials that I used and I hope you enjoy the demonstration. This is a photograph of some cherry blossoms from Pixabay and I'm going to approach this with masking. So I've drawn out the outline of the flowers in the branch in pencil on Yupo. And I'm going to actually lighten the drawing first by rubbing a cotton ball with alcohol over it. And then I'll just mask out all the areas that I've drawn. For the masking, this is the PBO drawing gum, and I have just a small brush. I'll let the masking fluid dry and it should take about 10 or 15 minutes. I'm going to add a background and I'm going to take from the colors that are in the picture. So I picked pink sherbet, cloudy blue, and cool peri. And I'm going to make an all over background and then I might texture it a little bit with some splattered alcohol. And I have some alcohol here, which I'll use to lighten a little bit. I'm going to take off some of the excess with this cotton ball. And I think I'll add some more blue up toward the top. And I'll let it dry flat. Actually, there's some shapes in here that I don't really care for. These round blobs. So I'm going to just kind of alter them a little bit. See if I can get some ink to kind of flow through them. To do the splattering, I have a one inch chip brush 
and some alcohol in a container. And I'm just going to splatter lightly with this brush and I'll let that dry. Now that the uh, ink layer is dry, I'm going to remove the masking fluid. Now that the masking fluid is off, I'll start painting. And I'm going to begin with the branches and leaves because I think that'll give us the most structure to start with and give us some darker values to judge the lighter ones against. So I'll begin with some espresso ink and then move into these more orangey reddish colors. So this is espresso in the Weld palette. I'm leaving kind of the edge around here. It'll be a little bit lighter. Won't be that big, but I want to just leave enough space. This is um, current, and it's similar to raisin and to any of the other kind of dark purplish reds. This is a pointy swab. I'm gonna use it with some alcohol and just uh, lift out some of the lighter areas. I want to reshape this space a little bit. This is some pink sherbet. I'm going to use it to put in a base layer for some of the um, flowers. Putting it on a little thicker here because I want it darker. It's such a thin ink though, one has to be careful for how it's going to spread. Our focal flower is very, very light, but it still needs some pink in here, so I'll just put a very pale layer of this pink in. And same with the flower behind it. So actually these don't look that different in value than the other ones. But we can solve that with lifting in just a minute. So now I'll use the cotton swab again and um, blend the ink and kind of lift out some of the lighter areas. I also want to kind of blend into the background a little bit, so I want to soften these edges, which may be a little bit of a challenge because of the stain of the paper, but we'll see what we can do. This is the Cool Perry, and we'll use it for some more of the shadows. Again, really thin ink here. I'm going to just do the edges and hopefully that will soften into the background. I want these ones that are not our focal blossoms to just be blossoms but not, not as distinct. This 
this is Flamingo. It's kind of a brighter pink. I'm going to use that to get a little more color going on. So I'm going to put some of it in these leaves. This is some amethyst. Again, a very much brighter color. My plan here is to lift this back out, but I need something a little bit darker than the Colperi is giving me. So I think lifted amethyst will do the trick. This is the cut and swab again. And we'll just do a little more lifting. Terracotta. I need to pop a little bit of that in these leaves too. Going back to the espresso, which is pretty dried in this palette. This is a light pink marker. Switch to the larger size. And I just want to blend a little bit. I'll go back and do some lifting. This is a dark brown marker. I'll use it to continue to add darker values to these leaves and the branch. And this is the sepia pen. This is a brighter pink. I'd really like these back flowers to be uh, more pink and more in the background. So this is pink sherbet again. and a little lifting. I think some of these background flowers need darker centers or areas where the stem hits. This is the uh, current again. This is a pink marker. I'm going to just add a little bit more color with it.
And there are a couple spots I'd like to just soften a little bit. This is the sepia pen. Do a little bit more splattering. This time it's with some wild plum. And maybe a little bit with some alcohol. So going to do a little bit with the white pen. And I think that's enough decorating this for now.